Hi everyone, uh, it's Vera. I have been asked about our brand new blending buds. Um, I've been asked what, when, where, how, why, why to use them. Uh, so I'm going to show them to you. So we have a little purple one and a pink one. They come in this cute little tube. Um, mine are dirty because I use them all the time. So deal with it. Um, I'm going to show you what I do and how I do it and why I do it. Uh, so my face right now, all I've done is put on my moisturizer and my primer. So this is it. This is my fresh face. So next you're going to see my face already highlighted and contoured and then I'm going to show you how we blend it all together. Okay, welcome back. So I've contoured and highlighted my face. As I say, I have my war paint on. Um, if you don't know how to do this or where to do this, I've done another video before on what parts to highlight and what parts to contour. So I'll just show you quickly now. Um, I've highlighted under my eyes in a triangle shape. I've highlighted my nose up until my forehead, um, just under my jawbone here, and my jawline has been contoured. Uh, my nose has been contoured, my cheekbones have been contoured, and the edges of my face have all been contoured. So, with your blending buds. Now, I've already done this. What you do is you run them under some water, squeeze out all the water, and then dab them on a towel so that they're a little bit moist. The moisture is going to help you blend everything in. If you do it dry, it's not going to work. The tip of your blending bud is for the little crevices of your face. The bottom is for... The bigger parts of your face obviously okay so let's get started what you can do um, is you can dab or you can do circular motions so what I like to do is first I dab up always work up okay and I kind of get the colors blended a bit and then what I do is I start rubbing it um, very lightly into circular motions and then I keep dabbing and the circular motions are really just to get the colors blended um, and make sure that you don't have any blend lines okay so you just keep dabbing along and notice how it's all just it's just like it's making my face almost look airbrushed So forget about those expensive airbrushes, forget about all the other products and tools that you use, and really all you need are these blending buds. And then just dab around the eyes. That's it. That's all. My face looks like it's been airbrushed. I'm so happy with the results. I love, I'm in love, 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 love with these blending buds. I'm going to show you another little secret I have. On the end of my foundation brush, I have a little bit of lighter foundation. And remember when you're contouring, you want to go three shades lighter and three shades darker. Um, I didn't go for an intense contour today uh, because it's Wednesday morning so I didn't really need a lot uh, so I didn't use shades that were too dark and I didn't use shades that are too light I just matched my skin tone um, I'm gonna show so to cover your under eye circles you wanna just take a little more uh, I use the BB cream and bisque and you just kind of wanna dab it and a little more okay and you, what you're doing is you just want to create the illusion that you don't have under eye bags. Okay. 
and very lightly dab. Don't smudge, don't streak. There you go. So now I'm ready to throw on a little blush, get my mascara on, and I'm good to go. I hope you like my tutorial on how to use your blending buds. Um, give them a rinse after, obviously. Uh, we do not have a cleaner for them yet. We will, maybe, I don't know. Um, but you can use baking soda, um, or you can just use regular water and kind of get the stains out a little bit. Okay, I hope this video was informative, and I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, I'm going to show you how to amp up your eyeshadow without buying new eyeshadow. Talk to you soon.